superposition of verbs. The principle of superposition states that when two verbs of same kind meet at a point in space, the resultant displacement at that point is the vector sum of displacement that the two verbs should separately produce at that point. And the verb at a particular point will put a jerembo, then the resultant amplitude and over another sum of their individual amplitude. And the electromagnetic verb will put a jerna. Or resultant electromagnetic wave on the board. Our resultant electromagnetic wave in the amplitude and the variety and the individual wave will get amplitude will get vector sum. I think this is electromagnetic wave in the case on electromagnetic wave in the case of the amplitude and the parana parameter Nathanayana. We do general wave in the case of number displacement and the general term on the represent the general for an electromagnetic wave. The term displacement refers to. The amplitude of electric field vector. Interference. We know what is interference. Two verbs superposed to form a resultant verb of greater, lower, or same amplitude. There are two types constructive interference and destructive interference. Constructive interference. Consider two words. These two words have crust to crust to correspondence. Also, it have trough to trough correspondence. That means both of these words are in, in phase. So they can superpose to form a resultant word. If the two words are in phase, the resultant amplitude of the resultant verb will be equal to sum of amplitude of individual words. That is amplitude of resultant wave AR equal to amplitude of first wave A plus amplitude of second wave A. A plus A equal to 2A equation 1. From fundamentals, we know intensity is proportional to square of the amplitude. Or we can write IR is proportional to AR square. Let it be equation 2. Comparing equation 1 and 2, it under equation in number. Compare here. When we are comparing these two equations, we can substitute to a instead of a r. That is, i r is proportional to two a square, or i r is proportional to two square a square. Intensity is proportional to square of the amplitude. So we can replace a square by i. This is the equation. 2 square we can fit like this 2 into 2. Now this 2i I can write i plus i. So this is the equation. IR is proportionally 2 into i plus i. IR means the resultant intensity is proportional to 2 times sum of the intensities. I is the intensity of the first wave. This i is the intensity of the second wave. So Sum of the intensities is i plus i, and the double on ir and over. Or ir is proportional to two times sum of the intensity, or ir greater than sum of the intensities. That is, the resultant intensity is greater than sum of the intensities, or ir is greater than i plus i. Therefore, the interference produced at this point is known as constructive interference. Initially, first wave has an intensity i, second wave has an intensity i. When these waves superpose, the resultant wave has an intensity which is higher than sum of the intensities. So, we can call this interference as constructive interference. A stationary bright band of light is produced at the points of constructive interference. Destructive interference. Now we have two verbs. Crust of the first verb is in align with the trough of the second verb. So here also the resultant intensity of the resultant verb is equal to the vector sum of intensities of the individual verbs. As it is a vector sum, the result will be zero. If the two verbs are in opposite phase, 
the amplitude of resultant wave will be equal to zero. If the two waves are in opposite phase, the amplitude of resultant wave will be equal to zero. That is, the amplitude of the resultant wave are equal to a minus a, which is equal to zero. Here we are taking the vector sum, so we need to consider the direction also. So the resultant amplitude will be equal to zero. As a common equation. We have intensity is proportional to square of the amplitude. So the resultant intensity IR is proportional to zero square or IR is proportional to zero. That means we know that the intensity of the first wave is I, intensity of second wave is I. Some of the intensities will be I plus I which is equal to I. But the resultant intensity here it is zero which is of course it will be less than sum of intensities. That is, the resultant intensity is less than sum of intensities due to individual waves. Therefore, interference produced at these points is known as destructive interference. A stationary dark band of light is produced at the points of destructive interference. Interference fringes. When two or more coherent waves are superposed, the resultant effect is brightness in some region and darkness in some other region. This alternate region of brightness and darkness may take the form of straight bands or circular rings. They are called as interference fringes. So interference and the number one type of interference is like one is constructive interference and another destructive interference. Constructive interference in a bag might have bright bands produceable. Destructive interference in the bag might have dark bands produce. So, if two or more coherent waves are superposed, then a bag might the resultant effect will be brightness in some region and darkness in some region. Or an alternative region of Brightness and darkness may be seen. So it can be formed like straight bands of dark band, bright band, dark band, bright band, like that. Or it can be like circular rings. So there will be one dark ring, around that there will be a bright ring, around that there will be another dark ring. So alternate dark and bright rings. So this type of bands or rings are known as interference fringes. Interference fringes.